Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It is I, your host, Brooding Gamer, for an unboxing video. Our first official unboxing of this mystery Amazon package, which definitely contains not a head. So if that's what you think is in the box, you are dead wrong. So, without further ado, let us open up and see what we have here. I don't really think I'm going to need a knife or sharp object. Maybe I'm wrong, so I'm going to take this this uh, totally not a medication for my cat. And we're going to use the sharp edge of this totally not medication for my cat. And they really definitely keep these from opening up. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's been a hot minute since I've purchased anything on Amazon, so I honestly do not remember what could be in this box. But I'm very excited to find out. It's bubble wrap. Look at all that bubble wrap. Okay, well, already I can see some cool stuff, so let's take out the first item it appears to be a lizard of some sort I would say a lizard of giga proportions here ah, goodness gracious all right cool we have ourselves oh I could have just opened it from the bottom a giga nidosaurus from Papo, the Papo Giga. Awesome! He even comes with this little plastic base to make sure that he does not bend and warp. This dude is absolutely amazing. I have yet to see this, and of course the lighting is going to be very odd, very atmospheric, I guess you could say. This is, and of course I have to be a little quiet because Haley is asleep in the next room, so I thought I would go ahead and get this whole unboxing video done now I think we should have yes we have four dinosaurs in this box one of which I am beyond excited for so in this first one we have our Giganitosaurus this guy runs for about $25 amazing texture got the Papo logo under his feet his jaw does have some movement to it not sure how close I can get up here. Not really very close at all. This is pretty much a very bad unboxing video, but of course until I have better lighting, unfortunately this is going to have to be the best I do here and not keep hitting the light. Let's go ahead and get... Well, I'll keep that tag on there for right now. But we have this Giga standing at a very strange pose. I've never seen a Giga stand in this, or any dinosaur stand in this pose, except for an old style dinosaur, you know, from the... Uh, the vintage times, I guess you could say. But he must be rearing up to fight something. What he is battling, I guess we'll never know unless we want him to battle, I don't know, maybe one of our next dinosaurs. He is a fairly new figure. He's actually got some weight to him. But he's not too new. I'd say he's a couple years old, if that. But he does look absolutely fantastic. Very happy with this figure. So I'm going to say, oh, pardon me. I'm going to set him off to the side. He's just going to chill out down here looking at the box. So let me grab our next item. And it is, of course, a an older figure for sure. I have seen this guy. I remember seeing this figure for the first time. Actually, in Lake Champlain, there was a big resort area by there. When I was on my way to New York, we have ourselves... A triceratops 
Now, again, you guys, many of you have probably already seen this figure. It is, of course, a Jurassic Park-esque Triceratops. This is not new in any means, but I did honestly just wanted to pick him up just to have him. He's, he's kind of strange. He's got like a hard plastic to him, but then there's like a random spot under his stomach here that actually has... God, I feel so bad for the lighting for you folks. You guys are not getting a very good video, and I apologize so much. I, uh, I feel really bad, but we, we will do better next time. We'll, we'll get better. Um, he's absolutely gorgeous. There is a juvenile Triceratops that I do want to pick up eventually. It's not that expensive, so I may get a juvenile. I need to pick up the Parasaurolophus, which unfortunately I did not pick up this time. But for sure, we need to pick up the juvenile. And they need to make a Parasaurolophus that's a juvenile. That'd be really cool. So that is our Triceratops. We'll set that right down there preferably not on his foot i honestly forget what this next figure is so let me get it out of the packaging ah i now remember what this figure is <laughs> okay i'm very excited for this let me get it out we have ourselves and they really went out of their way to make sure these don't warp which was fantastic we have ourselves the Papo Iguanodon. Now, I've been wanting to pick this up for a while now, and his mouth is supposed to open, but it doesn't really open all that wide, because when you do pull it open, it just kind of shuts back down. So, I can't really tell the paint job. Legs are perfect. He came, again, it came in this, which, which side did it go in? I'm going to say like this side right here. They go in these little plastic bases to help prevent warping which I'm not sure what how much that really does but after I saw this guy online I had to pick him up he looks absolutely amazing very happy with this figure the paint job from what I can see in this light is very very interesting kind of an Aladar like you can tell they definitely had to take some inspiration from Disney's dinosaur when creating this figure it looks more like a Disney's dinosaur guanodon than any Sorry, I'm not even going on screen um, than any Iguanodon I've ever seen. Definitely is not Jurassic Park style unless this was made. Well, I don't know. All I see is Disney's dinosaur, and that is one of my favorite dinosaur movies of all time. Let me see if I can get back into the light here. Can we get into the light? We have an amazing sculpt here, and there should be a Papo logo right there under that foot, but you probably can't tell. So, absolutely gorgeous. We have that iconic thumb claw right there on both hands, or both feet. And, uh, gosh, I love this. I kind of want to pick up multiples of the same one so we can get some good... I swear, if I keep bumping this... Well, <laughs> this is so unprofessional. I do apologize, folks. But, yes, there we go. The Papo Iguanodon. Now, I wanted to save the best for last I'm so excited to open this up it's probably the heaviest out of all of them so we'll go ahead and we will set this box up kind of like that just as a get out of the shot can you guys tell what it is can you probably not so let's see here more tape Papo does love their tape this one is probably the one I'm the most nervous for because I was terrified that its limbs were going to warp or something. But it doesn't appear that they did, which is absolutely amazing. So, without making too much noise here to wake up the, the girlfriend. Oh, or hit my mic. That works too. Or just, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, oh my god. This is definitely one of the favorite products I've ever owned from this company, and it is the Therizinosaurus. You guys knew I was eventually going to pick this up, and I'm surprised it took me this long. This creature is gorgeous. The paint job on the back, oh no, see, this is what I'm talking about. I keep knocking everything over, so let's readjust that. Oh, hi Gengar, how you doing? 
<laughs> the uh, paint job on this guy is absolutely amazing. We have a very turkey-esque style with this Therizinosaurus, and he is just ready to combat anybody who's coming at him for this Thanksgiving. He has these little... Let me see if I can get the paint job up here, the thing. He has these paint job here on the wing on the not wings but on the feathers of his elbows it's a very strange style his arms do not bend hardly at all and that is how i like it we have a little bit of paint hanging off the side the tail does have <coughs> the tail has a bit of a fan on it right here kind of reminds you actually not really of the jurassic world there's you know source uh and of course the paint flex we have some paint patches here and these giant dew claws on this thing as someone who works in a vet clinic and having to trim animal nails this is not something I would want to trim especially with these claws I just I cannot the weight of this figure is amazing and this this stance that it has is absolutely gorgeous let me see if I can get it to stand up a little bit it actually stands pretty decent on there and we'll compare him to the Giga the Giga and him size wise well that's a bad spot let me set him up here on this box see if that's any better a little bit better let's tilt up just ever so slightly I think it actually looks really dang good I'm I'm very excited with this I just I cannot thank Papo enough for making these amazing figures I have now nah, used to have several in my collection however uh, my father uh, unknowingly took them in a garage sale and sold them um or no what ended up happening was i had a box of old dinosaurs and a box of my papo stuff and he unknowingly took the box of the papo stuff and the box of the old stuff put them in the game same box and then took them to a co-worker at his job and gave them away so when i finally showed him a picture online i said are these what you put in the box and he said yes those are what i put in the box and then i was like congratulations you just gave away some very expensive figures <laughs> So now I have to rebuild my Papo collection as well, and you better believe I'm extremely excited to do so, especially with these freaking amazing figurines that they have graced us with. These guys look amazing. So unfortunately for the bad quality of this video, and I do greatly apologize for the style of this video, usually I'd have, you know, I would have a much better style at this point, but um, yes, I actually have my headset plugged into my phone. So as far as I know, this didn't even record properly. <laughs> so <laughs> we will find out here very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. And of course, go ahead and let me know what Papo figures I should pick up next. I do have a cart full of them on Amazon, about $109 worth at the moment. So if you guys would like to see more of these unboxing videos, let me know and it would be greatly appreciated because I've already made the intro. So I'd like to utilize it as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here and stop saying the word so, so much. There, I did it again. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you leave a like, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you would subscribe for more videos, it would be even more appreciated. This is Brooding Gamer signing off. <laughs>